Hello and welcome to the second part of the topography um, exercise number five for QGIS. Um, and this will work on the azimuth and distance plugin. So the first thing you'll want to do is um, open up QGIS 2.6 and then you'll want to actually navigate to your uh, open project folder. And I've created a, um, a, a project in there, um, a QGIS project called exercise five. So just click on that and open it. Um, here you should see the parcel outlines for the city of Lewiston and Nez Perce County. Um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to, um, there's a legal description um, in the in the instructions. So the first thing, in the first part of this exercise, you should have installed a plugin called uh, the Azimuth and Distance um, plugin, which is part of the topography, which is under plugins, topography, and then right here under Azimuth and Distance. First thing we'll want to do is let's actually zoom into the area of interest that we're working with. So at the corner of Cedar and 12th is, um, which is right, here's 12th Street, there's Cedar Ave. So right in here, um, what you might want to do too is I've noticed that the roads are kind of a weird green. So remember like in exercise two that we went through and we changed the color of those items. Let's actually go in here and change it from that lime green to something that's a little bit darker, maybe a little bit bigger too. And like that. So the first thing you'll want to do is what I, I usually do is just get my little measurement tool and we'll measure to the point I'm beginning. So it starts at the intersection of 12th Street and Cedar Avenue in Lewiston and then it runs east 90 degrees for approximately um, 43, 44 feet. So roughly right in here, um, right there to the point of beginning. So the point of beginning is actually right where that parcel and the road intersect at that end of the travelway. Um, so once that's done, you can actually close out of there. Um, I'm, this is just a ballpark um, that we're doing today. Um, and then what you'll want to do here is you'll want to bring into your, your, your um, azimuth and distance tools. Where it says active layer, make sure that the, um, actually if it says roads, what you're going to have to do is just move it aside and click on parcels and see how that changes the parcels. Um, the coordinate system is in the right projection. And then what we'll want to do is distance units. Let's change those to feet. And then what you want to do is just start plugging in. Well, what, the first thing you want to do is locate that point on the map that we just measured to, to the point of beginning. Like I said, this is just rough. So then what you'll do is just click on the capture from map here. Then go up and just click on the map here and you'll notice that those are now populated. Um, you can close out of that because I left that tool open. Um, and those are now populated. So then what you want to do is you want to go through and do your um, azimuths and your distances. So reading the legal description, um, running east from uh, 43.97 feet to the real point of beginning, from the real point of beginning running north, on uh, an azimuth of zero degrees for a distance of um, 86.25 feet. Add that to the bottom. And then what you'll want to do, then running east, so then you'll go 90 degrees for 92.8, 92.82 feet. And then you'll want to run it at 180 degrees for 80, 86.25 feet. And then you'll want to run it um, 270 degrees west for 92.825 feet. 825. And then what you can do here, now that we have all this information in here, just hit draw, and you can see it just built a little sub-parcel in there. Um, so that pretty much concludes. Um, well, what it also did too is, it, it, besides adding the parcel, is it did add yeah, new, or it did add a new row. So if you just sort here, you'll notice that there's an object ID here, um, and then you can go in. And you, at this point in the game, you could actually start editing. Um, and you'll notice when you hit the edit button, button that the nodes now populate on the map. It might be a little bit hard to see in the video, but if you, um, you know, you could start entering your parcel number and all that information on this on this line as well. Um, that concludes the azimuth and distance um, plugin. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.